Get ready to continue to soar with your argumentative essay. This is 4B. We're going to continue using quotations to bolster an argument. There's an opportunity for you to practice using commas. Notice it says punctuating items in a series. You use a comma to separate three or more items in a series or list. Notice the example, many murals decorate buildings in Philadelphia, comma, Chicago, comma, and Boston. Commas are also used when you set up your quotations. Now there's an opportunity to practice. Then you're going to be using quotations effectively. Daniel isn't just plopping quotations into the middle of his writing. He's transitioning between his own writing and the quotation with some transitional phrases. For example, in the article, schools may ban chocolate milk over added sugar, or according to a video on NBC News called Milk Dud, schools rule out chocolate milk. As you continue to incorporate quotations, remember that you don't just want to plop the words into your piece. To move between quotations and your own writing, you want to use words and phrases that make your position clear. Phrases such as, according to the text, or in the article or video, or the text states, or research shows or indicates, experts demonstrate, or evidence suggests. Here are some examples from an actual student. This comes from an argumentative essay written by one of my students two years ago. He writes, yes, there are some downsides, though, to having chocolate milk. For example, the National Center for Health Statistics said that kids get about 16% of their calories from sugar that has been added to food. Dr. David Katz, a nutrition expert at Yale University, said, oh, look, here's that quotation, that's too much. And then also this person puts in, and that, it's one of the major problems in our diet. Notice he selected not only a quotation which supports what he wants to get across in his argumentative essay, but notice he's just taken the parts of the quotation that actually fit. Uh, skipping down to Joy Bauer, RD nutrition and health expert for the Today Show and Everyday Health says, notice the comma, I don't recommend kids drink chocolate milk in schools because the added sugar provides unnecessary extra calories when so many kids are already struggling with their weight and unhealthy eating. Notice he opted that time to include the entire quotation, but notice he also sets it up by telling us who the expert is who made the quotation, and then, but right before the quotation includes a comma. So here's a portion of Marvin's research report. He sets up his quotations as, according to famous chef Jamie Oliver, notice the comma, the sugar is coming and it just ain't stopping. Notice the according to. It makes Marvin's position stronger. And Marvin did something else as well. He told us the source was Jamie Oliver. And he told us that he is a famous chef. He says, according to famous chef Jamie Oliver. So there's also a slide in there that talks about how you write an argument. And the, some of these are review items like collect evidence that allows you to think through various sides of an argument, rehearse by explaining your position and listing your reasons point by point, plan your claim and reasons into boxes and bullet structure, use evidence to support your reason, paraphrase, putting it into your own words. Remember, you're going to look at the paragraph, you're going to read it, then you're going to go into your argumentative essay and you're going to put what you read into your own words if the information is something that you really need to include in your argumentative essay. Today's lesson, quote, and then unpack the quote showing how it relates to the reason, introduce the source and explain the connection, use setup language, transitional phrases, to prop up your sources. There's an article on the next slide. It says, School chocolate milk debate goes on. Removing chocolate milk from school cafeterias has been promoted over the last few years as a way to reduce the sugar kids consume and decried as a sure way to keep kids from getting the nutrients in milk. Both might be the case, researchers at Cornell University say. Now you'll notice in the next paragraph, lo and behold, there is a quotation. Before you put a quotation into your argumentative essay, Make sure it really does support one of your claims. Make sure 
Before you put a quotation into your argumentative essay, make sure it really does support one of your claims. Remember, you don't have to use the entire quotation. And if you've already included information that is found in the quotation, you don't have to just plop the quotations in just to be plopping them in. As you read this article, decide what really fits your argumentative essay. And the time has come to continue working on that argumentative essay. Remember how to contact me if you need to ask a question. You can write a comment in the slides in the comment section. You, you can go to the Six Flags Interactive site, the Padlet site. You can email me your question, or you may call me at 816-415-0368. Okay, the time has come to go forth and do phenomenal things.